U.S. auto theft topped over 1 million cases in 2023 alone, and the danger is only rising. Back in 2019, the theft rate stood at 199.4 per 100,000 people. Fast forward to today, and it's jumped to 283.5 per 100,000. That's not just a statistic, it's a sharp reality check. Add to that the fact that more than 64,000 catalytic converters were stolen in 2022, and you realize cars aren't safe even when they're parked right outside your own home. The risk is high, and because of that, the real priority is shifting. It's no longer just about chasing your car after it's gone, it's about stopping the threat before it ever happens. That's why the 2026 Tesla Model 2 is turning heads. It's not just another affordable EV. It's engineered with insane updates that focus on keeping trouble out from the very beginning. Imagine parking on a crowded city street without that knot in your stomach, because every side of your car is covered with multi-camera security. Imagine knowing that your phone key only unlocks at close range, that pin to drive stays on by default, and tamper sensors in the charge port, hood, and trunk flag any prying attempt before serious damage happens. The big question is, can an affordable EV really deliver the kind of durability and peace of mind usually reserved for luxury cars? And if Tesla's intrusion prevention works the way it's designed to, could this be the push that finally moves everyday drivers beyond gasoline for good? You're watching Tech Drive. Subscribe right now, help us reach 1000 subscribers, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss the most powerful and practical Tesla updates that matter. So, what exactly in the blueprint makes the Tesla Model 2 so resistant to intrusion? Unlike cars that bolt on security later as an afterthought, Tesla Model 2 has it woven directly into its DNA. From the very first design sketches, Model 2 was built like a security shell. Every rib, every seam, every bracket is part of a bigger plan to starve attackers of easy leverage. Sensitive hardware is hidden behind sealed layers, meaning that what would be quick and casual prying on a normal car turns into slow, noisy, time-wasting frustration here. The formula is simple, buy time for the cameras and alerts to do their job, and make sure owners can set it once, then just drive like it's any other compact EV. Tesla made its first bold decision with service pathways. Normally, things like diagnostic ports, release cables, and harness splices are vulnerable spots. But in the Model 2, they're locked inside sealed compartments that only open from the cabin after the driver verifies access. Dual skin firewalls and closed crosscar beams reinforce this, so thieves fishing around in will wells or headlamp pockets find dead ends. Routing channels are blocked by ribs and baffles, removing any straight tool paths from the bumper to the cabin or from the cowl to the front modules. The body itself uses large underbody castings that eliminate seams and external flanges. With fewer seams, there are fewer weak spots for a pry bar. Cast-in tunnels carry wiring and brake lines inward, away from rocker edges and wool arches, exactly where thieves usually probe. Panel interfaces use hem flanges bonded with adhesives and spot welds, creating long continuous joints that resist peel attacks and stop drill bits from walking inside. Underneath, Tesla fitted a one-piece belly shield that covers the central tunnel and battery. Here's the clever part. The fasteners that hold it aren't easily accessible. Many are oriented from inside the cabin or hidden under trims. Some even use sheer sleeves and torque to yield bolts that thieves can't quickly remove from below. The battery pack itself doubles as a stressed member, reinforced with crush rails and jack pads. Any access points lead to sacrificial layers only, real latches and retention hardware sit deep up inside the structure, far beyond what common street tools can reach. Up front, Tesla designed the front tub as a closed composite box. The latch hardware sits inside, protected, and anti-fishing grids surround the striker. Even mechanical cables that release latches are routed through reinforced channels, bending through the firewall, and ending behind interior panels near the charge port. The charge port itself has a double wall pocket with a deep shroud, forcing awkward angles for any tool. That's wasted time, wasted effort, and extra noise exactly what an intruder doesn't want. Door geometry also works against intrusion. The openings are shaped for anti-pry performance. The B-pillar and rocker close into box sections, striker plates mount on multi-layer backings, and hinge pins are captured from the inside rather than left exposed. 
These details sound small, but they make a massive difference, they raise the force needed for a clean spread and cut the chances of someone peeling open a door in seconds. Externally, visible fasteners are minimized. Where they exist, they're recessed, coated, or shielded by trims that only release from the inside. Even the electrical layout is treated as part of the structure. The primary gateway and fuse distribution mount inside a central tunnel under a steel cage, with connectors pointing upward behind drip shields. That blocks casual tampering attempts from the bumper or wheel wells. Service panels do exist, but again, they only open from inside the cabin after driver verification. All of this adds up to a body that doesn't just resist, it fights back. Panels help carry and dissipate tampering forces, reinforced sills spread loads across the shell, adhesive bonded seams leave fewer edges to grab. Tight tolerances cut down on tool access. The net result? Tesla Model 2 denies clean access, denies clean leverage, and denies clean time. That's what true prevention-first engineering looks like. That's why daily ownership feels so simple, while intrusion attempts turn into a nightmare. So here's a question for you, which of these structural upgrades gives you the most peace of mind? A. Sealed service compartments. B. One-piece belly shield. C. Double wall charge port pocket. D. Anti-pry door geometry. Comment A, B, C, or D below. But structure is only half the battle. What about software? Well, Tesla Model 2 aims to keep the right person in control at the right moment, with zero extra hassle. By default, you get two-step authentication, UWB phone key distance checks plus PIN to drive. If your phone dies or goes missing, there's an NFC card backup. And don't worry, you'll never be locked out of your own car. Daily life is made smoother with context automation. At home or at work, the system keeps recording quiet to save battery. In public areas, it automatically raises protection, primes recording triggers, and cues notifications. And it's all editable in plain language, you can say, raise protection after 6 p.m. in downtown, and the car follows that rule. Sharing the car is handled smartly. Drive-only mode lets someone move the car without accessing storage or the charge port. Valet or guest profiles add speed limits, time caps, and auto-revoke timers. Lose a phone. Just revoke access in the app, the car instantly invalidates those credentials. Service mode limits data, creates audit trails, and ensures you know exactly when the car was unlocked, started, and moved. Evidence management is also next level. One tap builds a claim file with multi-angle clips, timestamps, and GPS coordinates, all stored in an encrypted vault with auto expiration. You can set retention windows, blur bystander faces, and share securely with insurers or authorities. Even if connectivity drops, Model 2 queues uploads and confirms later, so nothing is lost. The car updates its security through over-the-air packages. You choose stable or early access channels. Each update includes a security health check summary so you know what changed and why. Anomaly detection scans for suspicious patterns, repeated handle touches, strange motion near the charge port, and escalates alerts only as threats stack up. Setup takes just 60 seconds, enable your PIN, add a trusted phone, create profiles, and set geofence rules. Multiple device roles are supported, owner, adult, teen, or even temporary codes that expire. Everything works offline too, because key decisions run directly on the car. The cloud only syncs settings and backs up evidence. So the result is a set and forget experience, lightweight for you, but rock solid where it counts. And now let's move outside. Tesla Model 2 acts as an active perimeter that detects early, deters smartly, and records everything clearly. The centerpiece is Sentry 360 degrees, operating in three escalating levels. First, it detects motion and increases lighting to signal presence. If the approach continues, it escalates with a mild alert and sends a phone notification. But if prying starts, that's when the system goes full force, horn blaring, multiple cameras rolling, evidence captured from all angles. Here's a spicy detail, the headlamps themselves act like trap lights. If someone lurks near the body, the system projects a beam directly onto that area. It's not just for visibility, it's so cameras can grab crystal clear frames in real time. 
It's like the car itself is spotlighting the intruder. Tamper sensors on the charge port, hood, and trunk add another protective layer. If these are forced, the car instantly locks into an anti-start state and compiles a complete event packet. Everything you need for insurance or police is instantly ready. Flush door handles with hidden fasteners mean thieves have no quick leverage point. Laminated glass with silent brake detection adds to the defense. If the glass is struck, the system quietly records and notifies you before escalating, giving you a chance to intervene early without panicking the intruder into causing more damage. If the situation heats up, only then does the siren and full alarm sequence kick in. Drop a comment, Model 2, if you agree that Tesla's trap headlamps that spotlight suspicious movement give it a nighttime security edge other cars can only dream about. Now, let's step inside. Tesla Model 2 treats the cabin as an active security zone. From the moment you open the door, the glove box requires its own pin, and the center armrest hides a lockable compartment for valuables. The pin system ranges from 4 to 6 digits, that's anywhere from 10,000 to 1 million combinations. Fail too many times, and the car applies a temporary lockout, slowing brute force attempts drastically. When handing the car over to someone else, valet or guest profiles instantly cut access to sensitive data, limit speed, and lock storage compartments. And before the car even starts, there's one more barrier, pin to drive. Add optional facial verification, and now you've got two independent security factors, one numeric, one biometric. That makes sitting inside a Tesla Model 2 meaningless unless you're the rightful driver. For long-term parking, such as at airports, a single tap enables power-saving sentry mode. Event-based recording watches for motion or odd audio cues, keeping protection active while reducing drain. Cabin privacy mode can disable microphones and third-party permissions without touching core intrusion layers like sentry or pin to drive. This means you can lend the car, keep privacy, and still know security isn't compromised. And this is the essence of Tesla Model 2, security designed in, not bolted on. From the blueprint of its body, to the depth of its code, every single layer slows intruders, speeds up evidence, and keeps full control in the hands of the rightful driver. Set it once. Let it work every day. Focus on the drive, not on the risk. That's the promise of Tesla Model 2. If you want more real, practical breakdowns like this, smash that subscribe button to Tech Drive, ring the bell, and stay ahead of the most useful Tesla insights.